I gotta say, she does. This girl does a good job of doing uh, younger Chloe's voice. I'm pretty sure it's not the same person that did the first one, but uh, they do a good job. Finally, I'm impressed. You can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. I know. You gotta announce it in your head. Put that bad boy there. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Oh. Oh. All right. Hey, mom. You wanted to talk? Chloe's mom's got that fatty. Chloe, what happened to you? It's no big deal. I walked into a door. You seem to be walking into a lot of doors lately. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. <sighs> Sorry, Mom, I'll do better. Sorry, I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Nah, let's talk about school. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah, yeah. every kid used to love to learn. I used to think drugs were lame too. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's talk about David. As you I sneak do in some realize water. I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Uh. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. <sighs> I need you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. I miss the sass. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I serve them, he says, what are you going to eat? Oh. My. I'll enjoy that. God! Time. Tired, huh? So that'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe David could help. Fuck David. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. Nigga, David fuck thinks you David. need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Oh, we gonna hurt you. We gonna hit you where it hurts. Talk about daddy. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. Mm. But sometimes we need to make more room mm. in our hearts for new people. And sometimes when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our Real hearts. Back. Real back, Chloe. Mom. Real back. David's She's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you. Jesus Christ, the teen today. angst is Very funny. strong. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such. What, Chloe? 
such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Bitch, that's life! Oh my god. I pretend like everything's okay and I'm gonna have a freaking panic attack every single second of my life almost. You just pretend like it's going alright. Be understanding. Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his oh, keys they love is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. That's why you sticking in your ass. Feeling trapped? Right there with you. Hey, girl. You just gotta shake it a little bit. Shit. Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Alright. Uh, where's them, them damn keys? Where's them damn keys? Where's the white? Oh, I thought that said white stain. I was like, y'all know what kind of stains be white? <laughs> Glue! Alright, where... <sighs> Where, where, where's the, the ashtray at? God, you people smoke? Oh, God. God, 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 Come on, sweetheart. I'm sure David's waiting for his keys. I know David's waiting for his keys. We literally just had this conversation. I'm trying to find the fucking ashtray, and you're not being any helpful. You act like I live here. I made that ashtray for mom's keys only. Not an ashtray's there for cigarette buds. Take the damn keys. They're keys, Chloe. Jesus Christ. Let's get these to David so he can drive away. This will def Oh my god. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I bet it's my job to water these plants, but it was Dad's job to remind me, so. No, but we're already now. supporting one. Thanks. Yeah, I don't really care. Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Nope. Because Blackwell's trash. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Dang, he's a bum too? Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Alright, let's go. It's like we look Back at that pictures. These photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. I wish you'd try. Who messaged me? Hey, is this Chloe? This is Steph Gingrich. Hey. I have your DVD. You can get it before school. Thanks. Alright. I guess that's to serve some, some plot device at school. I guess. We're gonna keep seeing ravens everywhere. What a piece of crap. The car or him. The car too. <laughs> nice haircut. It always take forever to get ready. We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Did he just... Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Did he just tell repeatedly. me to sit? Or come? What the fuck was that? Like Chloe, a... is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. 
When I was your age, I'd gotten to my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Spark yes. plugs. It ignites. Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Yeah, Chloe. I think he is moving in. All right, let's take that. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. All right. I'm gonna try to be... Man, I would try to live in Arcadia Bay. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Shut up, bitch. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign carbon of carbon deposits. Deposit. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. Chloe, my attitude is what attitude? makes me special, David. All right. Why was that a thing? Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Did he just... Mm, that is my daddy's toolbox. Ready to roll... Oh my Please God. don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. A vacation from having a father figure? Mmm. Mmm. Shut this down. Ooh. You know I wanna Ah, oh, god damn. Now nah, we gotta shut the shit down. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Oh my god. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shemapel don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? <clears throat> Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. Uh, you... Your mother... Breaking her heart. At least she has a heart. All you have is. What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? Dang. Army. 
You will respect me. I didn't enlist, I don't bitch. remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. Oh? I don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. I'm sorry. I probably should have just been, like, chill.